Okay, so I have got two coats of the paint is already on. I've given it a light spray protector, clear mat, just to protect a little bit. Just sanded it smooth surface, get rid of any bumps and rough edges. Now I am taking the transfers and I'm placing them on the tackle box. So I'm just going to get here. Kind of just got a head start thinking that my camera was on. So we'll just jump right in to where I'm at now in trying to getting the fish onto the tackle box. So I'm just using the tool that comes with your transfer. And then you start to see it starts to adhere to the surface because it starts to change on the top, starts to get its release. Don't pull up too quickly, making sure that everything gets transferred onto the surface. Just very carefully. There you go. So just give it a bit of a burnish with the smooth side of your transfer just to make sure it adheres to the surface. And we're going to get ready for the next one underneath. We'll place him. I'm going to put him here. stubborn piece that doesn't want to come off. You just got to keep put a little pressure on that one. It will come off. There we go. And then just keep going. Don't want to come off too quick. So your transfers don't come off in pieces. There we go. Now for the front part, I'm going to add a few greeneries that I found. These are just leftover transfers that I have in my stash. You always try and keep these little bits and pieces because you never know when you might need them. So I'm going to... I'm going to use one over here. So just deciding if I want the fish. And yeah, we'll do that. Fish is swimming through. So I'm going to cut that off. Right here. As you know, at the bottom of the lake, there are all kinds of plants. Nope. Oh. 
going to put maybe we'll do this one No, I don't want that because that will cover him. So maybe, oh, I might not use this one yet. Okay, because I don't want to cover the fishes. That one's a little, I need more. Sometimes it may not work out, that's okay. This one can come in. Why don't we put this one guy underneath? Actually, so it looks like he's over there. And I'm just going to trim this because I don't need all of that to go past. There we go. And then I'll put that to here, to here. What I think I'm going to do is I have some pieces from this stencil. So I can take this and I'm going to cut a little bit off of here and then we can use a little bit. I'm just going to cut around here. This one, I'm going to have it come around, but I'm not, I'm going to tuck this in, I don't want that, oh, you know what? Okay, we'll leave that. And then I have, I have this little guy. So I'm going to put him you know what? I'm going to put him here. There, there we go. Now for the top, I've got this big sturgeon. I'm going to put him here. Now, before I put him on, I 
think what I'm going to do is have him place this guy so that he is coming over. So if I place him here, and I'll have the end of his tail come over. Him to come over. I want him. Forward. There. I want that to meet here. There. Okay, so now we need some more greenery. A few more. How about some more fishes? Carp. So we have some carp.
Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where I need to place some more greenery without losing that I'm going to lose a little bit of fish. So I'm going, let's go try this. all of this let's take it from here if we need have just enough time because I don't want that tip here but I do want it down here all right that'll work guy on here. Let's do him on here. So there we go. We can leave it there and then seal it. Give a good couple of coats of some acrylic sealer. Um, if you want to add more, you can go, but I think you get the general idea. A really cute little tackle box uh, for dads on Father's Day. Let me know how you like this. Give me some thumbs up or a smiley face or a follow if you are looking for some more DIY ideas. Until next time.